Kent TV. It's all about Jesus. We learned that God rejected Cain and his offering because of the condition of his heart. As Christians, we need to understand that God is always interested in the state of our hearts more than what we have to offer him, no matter how big the sacrifice is. This is because we are more important than our offering. In this week's message, Apostle Eric Nyamiche throws more light on why the condition of our heart is important to God than any sacrifice we have to offer. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We want to give praise to God for this opportunity to come your way once again. We are still looking at confession, the most mature way of dealing with bitterness. Confession is the most mature way of dealing with bitterness. We have been saying that the scripture says, therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar, and then remember that your brother or sister has something against you. Leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and reconcile to them. Then come and offer your gift. We said last week that God is more interested in you than your offering. He is more interested in the condition of your heart than what you have to offer. Now we want to throw more light on this because it is very important to know that obedience to his command is more important than sacrifice. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 15. I'll read some portions of chapter 15. Verse 1. Samuel said to Saul, I am the one the Lord sent to anoint you king over his people Israel. So listen now to the message from the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish the Amalekites for what they did to Israel when they waylaid them as they came up from Egypt. Now go, attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infant, cattle and sheep, camels and donkey. Put to death. Destroy all these. Put to death. Then verse 7 says this. Then Saul attacked the Amalekites all the way from Avila to Seir, near the eastern border of Egypt. He took Agag, king of the Amalekites, alive. And all his people he totally destroyed with the sword. But Saul and the army spared Agag and the best of the sheep and cattle. The fat calves and lambs, everything that was good, Saul and his people spared it against the command of the Lord. These, they were unwilling to destroy completely. Remember the Bible said, these, they were unwilling to destroy completely. But everything that was despised and weak, they totally destroyed. So God says, that go and destroy totally. And then Saul and his people decided to make some selection. Destroy what they wanted to destroy and spared what they wanted to spare. Now, obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Now, God hinted Samuel that he should go and meet Saul and that God has rejected him as king. Now, when Samuel met Saul, this is how the conversation went. The soldiers brought them from the Amalekites. They spared the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to the Lord your God. 
but we totally destroyed the race. This man is very disrespectful. Just listen to what he's saying. They spared the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to your Lord, your God. So don't disturb me. After all, they are going to sacrifice to their Lord, your God. This is what he's trying to say. Then let's listen to Samuel. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. For rebellion is like the sin of divination, and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. This is coming from Samuel. You see, God does not need our sacrifice or offering for anything. If he asks us to give an offering or to do a sacrifice, what does he mean? What is he looking for? Acts chapter 17, 24 and 25. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. 25. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. You see, when you serve him by giving an offering, it doesn't mean God needs anything. In fact, he himself gives us life and everything else. So what does it mean when he asks us to give an offering? This is what... David said in 1 Chronicles 29 from 14, But who am I and who are my people that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you. Everything comes from you. And we have given you only what comes from your hands. So whatever you have comes from the Lord. If you give an offering, you are only returning what God has given you graciously. So God is more interested in you rather than the offering. He is looking for a broken and a contract heart. A heart that is not filled with bitterness. A heart that the Holy Spirit can comfortably dwell. A pure heart is what he's looking for. So we go back to Matthew. Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and then remember that your brother or sister has something against you, Leave your gift there in front of the altar because he doesn't desire that. He himself gives us all things. What he desires is to make right what is wrong. So the Bible says that first, before anything else, go and be reconciled to them. Then come and offer your gift. God be with you. I'm praying that you do the first things first before your gift. Go and make reconciliation. Set things right and make sure that God is pleased with you and you accept your offering. God be with you. I want to give you this space to give your life to Jesus. If you will, please repeat this after me. Dear Lord, I accept you as my personal Savior. Come into my life and be my Lord forever. If you have sincerely prayed this prayer, you are born again. God Thanks for watching this episode of Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche. In this week's message, we learned that obedience is better than sacrifice. God does not need our sacrifice because everything comes from Him. Rather, what He requires from us is a pure heart. We trust that you have been inspired by this week's message. For prayer, counseling, or inquiries, kindly reach us on 0543308187 or email us at info.weeklyinspiration at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Till we come your way again, have a blessed week.